We almost had a nuclear incident yesterday, and I don't need you to freak out about it. It has nothing to do with nuclear war or weapons. Instead, it's about power plants. If you don't know how a power plant works, it needs to be connected to external power. I know what you're saying, but isn't generating power? It is, but ultimately there needs to be a backup in case if maybe something happens and or if there is a cold shutdown, you need to have some kind of power that still circulates the water around the reactors. Well, yesterday, Russia attacked two different substations that are the ones that are made for two different nuclear power plants. And if those were destroyed, then those power plants would have been forced to be on backup generators. And generators only typically are supposed to be working for about a week or so before it's got to be reconnected. So if Russia had destroyed those substations, we would have had a nuclear incident. We actually saw something like this with Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in which Russia disconnected it for weeks on end, which almost created a situation that would have been very bad for Europe. Following the attack, Ukraine's foreign minister called for an emergency session with the IAEA, or the International Atomic Energy Agency, demanding some kind of global pressure towards Russia so they stop attacking the substations that are powering the nuclear plants. Saying what Russia is doing here is quote-unquote nuclear blackmail. What you need to understand is this. Russia is purposely attacking just civilian infrastructure, including substations like this. But if they attack it to a certain point, a nuclear infrastructure could collapse, causing a nuclear disaster inside of Europe. That's why Russia needs to stop what they're doing. Well, one of the many reasons. But I'll be sure to keep you updated on this, so please do share my videos and follow me for more.